in acid-base chemistry, it's important to recognize a conjugate pair and a, an acid always has a conjugate base and a base always has a conjugate acid. And we'll look at some examples in just a minute. The only difference in the formula is uh, an H, which really is in the form of the H+. Plus. So for example, our strong acid HCl, when this is in the presence of water, Remember, this reaction goes all the way to the right, and HCl, because it's a strong acid, undergoes 100% association, and uh, this H plus really turns into an H3O plus. So if we write the water in the equation, then this is the uh, acidic proton after it's reacted with water. So in this case, the hydrochloric acid has its conjugate base as a chloride, the chloride ion. And notice the only difference between the formula here and here, the difference is an H+. <coughs> when water is with an acid, it acts like a base. So we're going to see, and I wrote water like this, Water has an H plus component and an OH minus component. So water is very unique in that it acts like uh, it can donate a proton and act like an acid, or it can donate an OH minus and act like a base. But in this case, when water is with an acid, it acts like a base. So this is the conjugate acid of water. For the most part, we're going to be concerned about an acid and recognizing its conjugate base. Hydrofluoric acid would be the same way, HF, in the presence of water. I'm going to write that as HOH. This reaction does not proceed very far to the right. It actually lies very far to the left. So this is the intact hydrogen fluoride. It only partially dissociates. H3O plus and the fluoride ion. So again, here is the acid and the fluoride is the conjugate base. This is going to be a very important concept for a number of reasons. We're going to eventually look at the salt. If the salt affects the pH, so that depends on the conjugate base. Uh, depends on the strength of the acid. So the, this is a uh, HCl, this is a strong acid. So a strong acid is going to end up having the weakest conjugate base. So uh, chloride would be, would be a very weak base. That means in the presence of water, it is not going to pull off an H plus from water and leave behind an OH minus. So the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, and so the conjugate base here, so this is a stronger base than water, or than chloride. This is stronger than the Cl minus. Potentially, anything that has a negative charge could act like a base. Uh, so that's something that we're going to consider a little bit later. Let's look at a weak base ammonia. So NH3 is the weak base ammonia. And anytime we write the dis the reaction of a weak base, it really is important to show the water molecule in that. So again, this reaction proceeds mostly to the left, not very far to the right. And what we end up with here, this lone pair on the nitrogen pulls the H plus off of water. And we're left with the ammonium ion, NH4 plus, and 
H minus. So the weak base, and now this is its conjugate acid. Notice a base and its conjugate acid also differ by an H plus in the formula. When water is with a base, it acts like an acid. So water's conjugate base is over here the hydroxide. So this is the conjugate base of water. We're going to spend more time uh, on the next slide about concerning water, that water has an acidic side and water has a basic side. So the Kb value for this reaction is 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. You can see that from the dissociation constants for bases. So if we look at ammonia, 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. That's relatively strong compared to 10 to the minus 10 or 10 to the minus 8. But that still means that that, that reaction does not lie very far to the right. If we look back at this, here the Ka value for hydrochloric acid is 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4. And then again here the K value would be infinity. So if we have a strong acid, that reaction proceeds all the way to the right. We have no reactants left over. So in our equilibrium expression of products over reactants, our denominator is going to be zero. If we don't have any reactants left, then uh, that means that reaction does not come to equilibrium, which means that reaction proceeds all the way to the right. And again, this is going to be important for a variety of reasons, but uh, the stronger the acid, the weaker its conjugate base. And the, if the base is weak, if we have a weak base, then its conjugate acid is going to be strong. So that relationship has everything to do with this business of equilibrium in the presence of water.